Hi, welcome to Discover Agriculture YouTube channel. The video is on integrated goat and fish farming. An integrated farming system offers several potential advantages that is increased productivity, greater income, improved cash flow, fuller employment, a better diet for the farmer and his family, and the spread of both biological and economic risks since two subsystems are involved as opposed to one in a single commodity farming system. The strategy, however, requires more knowledge and management skills. The integration of goat with tilapia fish production as a means of establishing a sustainable farming system aimed at maximizing productivity and minimizing operational costs. There is a great potential for this production as the demand for milk and meat is high. The importance of goats in many developing countries is now being recognized, but this is not yet reflected in widespread integration with fish culture. The integration of aquaculture with livestock production offers increased efficiency in resource utilization, reduces risk by diversifying crops and livestock, and thus provides additional food and income. Fish and Goat Farming It is considered a cow and a goat's excretor is very good organic fertilizer. The goat excretor contains organic carbon 60%. Nitrogen 2.7%, Phosphorus 1.78%, Potassium 2.88%, and its urine is also equally rich in both N and P. At least 50 to 60 goats are essential to fertilize one hectare pond. The goats should be provided with a dry, safe, comfortable house protected from excessive heat. Best Goat Breeds The goat breeds are Jamanapari, Beetle, Barbary for milk, and Bengal, Siroi, Dekani are used for meat purposes. Goats are selective feeders and consume bursim, napier grass, cowpea soybean, mulberry, etc. This integration can provide 3,500 to 4,000 kg fish per hectare per year without supplementary feeding and fertilizer. Thank you for watching. Like the video, comment, and share with your friends. If not subscribed to our channel, subscribe Discover Agriculture.